Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Uh, so in this video, I'm talking about tripods. Uh, you've seen any of my videos before, you know I use a tripod, I'm a landscape guy, and I'm a big fan of really right stuff tripods. I've also tried the Mi Photo tripods, which are much smaller and lighter and easier to pack. And I end up getting two tripods. They happen to both arrive this week. Uh, and they're really at opposite ends of the spectrum. You know, really right stuff being, you know, very durable, very sturdy, will last you know, basically forever if you take care of them. And then uh, on the very light weight side of things, the Mi Photo tripods, but those are uh, less sturdy in harsher conditions. They're not designed to work that way. They're designed to be light and portable and easy to use. You know, so I thought I might as well put a video together and talk about, you know, why did I get these two tripods? How am I going to be using them? And so on and so forth. So let's get into it. So where all of this stemmed from is I wanted to capture more behind the scenes footage for videos and especially for some future training products that I'm working on. And in order to do that, in some cases, I need to have a second, very sturdy tripod near me. The Mi Photos I do not recommend for field use other than stood up on very stable ground, you know, stable rocks away from surf city street you know and anything like that where there's not uh really much of a chance of any external force that's going to knock it over if it's really windy not a good choice so that's why i got this uh this second really right stuff tripod this one's a little smaller than the one that i have currently so when i extend it, it only goes up to about my chest as opposed to all the way above my head uh, but it's going to do the job perfectly. It's going to be you know, very sturdy and it's smaller. So I'm going to be taking it on some of the, uh, the traveling that I'll do too, as opposed to the really big, massive tripod that I have, which I will still use and I still love. This will be a nice uh, one in between. And I got a different ball head for it than what I had previously. Uh, I decided to get a panning ball head. And the, the rationale being I wanted to still be able to take some panos with this tripod when I'm traveling. So uh, I'm really eager to put this to the test. I just received it. I've only unboxed it. I haven't even put the legs outside yet. So um, I'll be doing that uh, in a few hours from the time I'm recording this. Really eager to get it out there and try things out. Um, so you know that's kind of the rationale which led me down to getting this particular tripod. It's going to help me capture stabler, stronger, better video and uh, it will also let me travel a little bit lighter when I still want to have a very sturdy platform to put my camera on. So why the second me photo tripod? That story is a little more convoluted. So the one I'm using currently, it's holding up the camera that I'm talking to. And I like the ball head on it for my platypod. So you know, I've got the Platypod Ultra here. And I've talked about the platypods before. I like using that small, simple ball head on these platypods because it's the right size. It's, you know, it's maybe only about that big. It's even, um, it might be about the same size as this one here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's about the same size as this here. It's Arca Swiss compatible, so very easy to move cameras on and off of it. It, it just works great. Uh, however, I was getting tired of constantly disassembling this tripod, taking that ball head, bringing it out with me in the field and reassembling things back here. Uh, and so I was in the market for just a simple basic ball head. They're made by Benro, even though it's a, a Mi Photo tripod, their, their ball heads are made by Benro, so it's a decent ball head. Shopping around for something that was about the same size and construction, it started to just go, well, you know, you may as well just get another Mi Photo tripod. Uh, and it so happens that they had a good offer code going on, and so that's exactly what I did for, you know, actually slightly less than you know, a, a ball head that I was looking for, I could get the full set of legs. And so that's what I did. Now, the only thing I've noticed is with this, this is a, uh, this is a backpacker air. So the one I'm talking to or the camera that's sitting on the, the one over there is that's a road trip air. So that's a slightly bigger brother. Something that's changed in their construction is the ball head is no longer removable. On the one that uh, I'm speaking at, I can take the ball head off and twist it off and use it. I can't do that with this one. Uh, and I, f I found out about that before I made the purchase. You know, I was talking with their uh, their support folks over there, seeing if they just sold just the ball heads themselves. And you know, he was like, well, that's weird. I don't think you can take them off. Turns out whenever they were making the ones that I have, you know, my first one, 
you could do that. They don't do that anymore. So, you know, as soon as I'm done recording this video, this is going to go end up sitting behind the desk and it'll just stay there. And it's actually gonna make my workflow easier too. I take the, uh, the A6000 I'm talking to, it goes out in the field with me. I come back, I'm just gonna plop it right up on top of this thing. It's already in the right position and it's ready to go for uh for doing recordings here and i have an extra set of legs right so that was the end of it i kind of get an extra set of legs for free i wanted a ball head well i got one and it came attached to some tripod legs uh so will i be using the me photo in the field i i, I will but again for you know for b-roll for for situations where it's very stable and not you know, in surf, in my case, since I'm at the ocean a lot, uh, not in windy conditions, you know, places where I know that I can set it up and I'm not gonna have any issue with conditions or weather causing things. Uh, as light and nimble as the tripods are, as you know, suggested by the name Air, they are very, very light. Uh, that comes at a cost of stability, right? Where you get something like really right stuff, it's gonna be sturdy, it's gonna hold its position in the field, but it comes with a bit of a weight cost. So that's why I suddenly have a bunch more tripods in the studio. You may start seeing this one show up in some field tests and field videos and so forth. I know this isn't a review of the tripods, but I thought, you know, here's some, uh, some backstory and some explanation about, you know, why am I making the, the purchase choices that I am? Because I do tend to be purpose-driven when I'm buying gear. That's it. That's all I got to say about the tripods today. Hope you found this uh, entertaining or interesting. And if you got questions about photography, hit me up. You know the drill. I'll see you again soon. Bye.